All right, what's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. We're waiting on some mail here for the pink truck at our uh, valve cover or valve body gaskets. Um, those should be here tomorrow, but in the meantime, we're gonna get digging on the first gen. That's something you guys probably didn't expect out of me, but you know what, we're waiting. I wanna break into it. We're gonna take our time on it. That thing's going fully, fully restored. We gotta get everything out so we can pull um, even the cab off. I'm doing the whole frame, sandblast, I repainted the whole line. So we're getting the bed off right now and uh, gonna keep going from there. <laughs> Okay, so I thought there'd be 18s, but I guess back in the day, we got a big whopping 14 millimeter holding this bed on. Looks like one, two, maybe a little bit more than eight. So we're gonna see um, what this one takes, but yeah, 14 mils, and I'm hoping we're not gonna have to use heat. I'm hoping this is still, it's been caked in some like clay and stuff from uh, where I picked this up in Alabama, but let's hope everything comes out nice, easily, and smoothly. Not that it matters when we put that thing back on, for now at least. have that that's what's a shame these are coming out so much better than the four bolts okay I almost want to try and get the fifth wheel plate out from top down <laughs> all right guys um, this is unbelievable um, obviously the hitch is here and I just didn't want to deal with that because usually you're like all oh, rusty bolts whatever and I said I thought this was gonna really give me a run for my money here um, I almost need a swivel though or a short stubby this is crazy it's coming out by hand I can't believe this Don't worry. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Cut those out square, didn't they? Yeah. 
just in case this needs to give way, it'll pop off instead of snap. Nice video, that hurts. Ah, wait. Wait. I was just going to put all three down the center for the oh, three stacks. Go that, go that. No, because we want the edge that edge in front of that bed right here. So they don't take oh, the bed's going this way? Yeah. He said that and I was like, wait, yeah, because we take up like four feet instead of eight. Yeah, you're good. See how far we can bring it. How far off are we? Is that centered? Perfect. Nice! Don't let him down. Blow him down, Benny. <laughs> just, just take off and just swing him into the dumpster. Pass him off the side of it. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna hit the tires. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, oh okay. Oh, All right. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, ready with oh, oh, nice. oh, my God. She just wants to be torn now. She does. How did that go so <laughs> Now, I did have plans to sit here and tear more of this down, but a lot of you have been liking the kind of, you know, teaching ish videos going on on this, you know, channel recently. Um, and I'm kind of gonna walk you down and around and through how I sit there and start with something like this. Now, we'll walk you through everything that's wrong with it. Um, that's part of the whole process here. And I'll kind of show you what goes through my mind as we get something new in here to build. This one's gonna be different than every single one of them, um, including the pink truck, because even though we did restore that, we kind of halfly did the Silverado, all of that. This one is gonna be different because we are going, literally, I think I've decided we're, we're going frame off on this. There's not much on these old trucks. Everything's coming off the frame. I wanna completely, you know, sandblast the frame, not scale it, not wire wheel it, I actually get the thing sandblasted. Because here's my thing. You're never gonna get one of these trucks again. Sure, as time goes on, like new ones kind of pop up that have been clean or not, and you're like, where has this been? Found in barns, we get that. But we're reaching about 30 years on, you know, this body style truck. So not many more are actually gonna pop up, and the fact I have relatively clean parts that, I mean, obviously they knew, do need some attention. Uh, like I said, like the frame, we're gonna get that sandblasted. Axles are gonna get sandblasted. Um, my plan is to pretty much repaint or powder coat everything on this. And um, this truck is gonna look pretty much brand new, like it rolled off the factory line, even in the engine bay. Engine bay is getting painted. Um, everything that I can get brand new is gonna be brand new, new hoses, belts, fuel lines. This thing is gonna look like it came right off the assembly line, which is just, that's why I haven't actually dug into this thing yet, including the other, you know, 12 valve. We'll go look at that in a second. But that's what I'm saying is that although it is a lot of work, it's quite less work because putting brand, like two brand new fuel lines, two brand new like brake lines, all that's like, that's simple. The interior, we'll get to that in a second, but I don't know what's going on interior-wise yet. Uh, whether it's something from this truck or that truck, I have no idea. And that's the other problem with these trucks. Even though there are parts that are reman, remanufactured, like fenders, doors, rockers, cab corners, um, 
a lot of stuff is just out of stock. It's hard to find, it's hard to come by. Um, I do have a door for this side that is like pretty much perfect, could use some body work. Um, I do have, same thing fender wise, a good fender, could use some body work. This side, is, it's the better of the two sides, but everything obviously you guys, this is why I picked this thing up. Um, everything's here. It's all good. Like I said, a little bit of just the surface rust where, you know, boots and such rub off the paint over the years. Um, uh, but we're going to get in here. This is literally how I got it. Um, I need to come in here, clean this out, pull up the floor, clean the floor pans, do all that. Um, I'm going to pull the dash. I'm going to pull everything I can out of here. Um, I want to paint the entire inside that I can possible. See, everything is here. Everything's good. So like, although I wanted to, I mean, we'll get new hinges and stuff, but little dent here. My plan on this was to keep body work to a minimum. Um, down here, there's a little um, dent as well that, you know, if needed, we can pull out and flatten. Uh, and same thing here. But again, I'm trying to avoid that. So I'm trying to piece together all good parts that I can. I'm trying to gather all the parts I can that are as OEM and it'll make this thing look as off the assembly line as possible. I want this thing to be pretty much brand new. And if you guys haven't guessed it by now, I've made my decision. We're making a, I don't know about lifted or lowered yet, but a four by four regular cab dually. Um, that seems to be the one that's hard to come by, hard to find, um, very difficult to find clean ones as well. It would be even more rare if it was a six speed manual. I don't know what I want to do transmission wise yet. It'd be nice to just hop in, um, hop in the truck and just like put it in drive and drive. But also because it is a classic, it would be sweet to hop in there and shift through all the gears, especially with it being a 12 valve and what we're going to do to it. I think it would be loads of fun, but I'm still up in the air. I don't know what I want to do yet. Um, because we got a couple things to also think of and figure out. Obviously we got a dually rear end. I'll take you outside show you that in a second. But other things people don't think about is okay on these trucks, uh, the pumpkin on the axle is on this side. Well, that means we need a transfer case that has a drive shaft on this side. If we do a transmission or whatever setup that has a transfer case that tips it down to this side, well, in that instance, one, we're gonna have to modify cross member, but two, um, we're gonna have to find a new front axle. And if we find a new front axle, I might as well find a new dually rear axle that matches the brand of the front axle, whether it be um, second gen axles, third gen axles, Ford axles, whatever it be, if I do end up going with a transmission that gives me a transmission and a transfer case that puts, you know, things backwards, in that instance, then that, like I said, I'm gonna have to get all new axles, unfortunately. Lots of things to figure out when you're doing something like this, especially, I want you guys to remember this video. Where this thing is sitting now, how it looks, how it's starting. And you know what's crazy? This is my cheapest one yet. I've got a thousand bucks in this truck right here. A thousand dollars. This is my cheapest one yet. I literally, I'm starting with a thousand dollar shell. Yes, I already have obtained other parts that we're gonna show you right now. Um, if you haven't seen any of these yet, but we're starting with a thousand dollar 1992 4x4 frame, a Ram 250 with a Cummins in it. But yeah, guys, I'm telling you, this is my cheapest one yet. And I want you to, sh I want to show you guys that just because the vehicle's more expensive up front doesn't like necessarily take away from the wow factor of what you can build with something that literally cost me $1,000 to start. Obviously, there's no motor, there's no tranny in it, but really what I needed is this frame because if you've been following me for a while i don't even know it's been about a year and a couple months i think since i bought this right here my other ram 250. now this is a two-wheel drive obviously this is how i bought it all ball joints all just messed up but the reason why well i guess my original plan was to completely restore this one i was like okay we'll get the rockers we'll get whatever we need doors are pretty good um you know bed definitely needed a bed things like that and like interior's good, everything's good. I was gonna do this, do the floor pan here. They're like 40 bucks. I was gonna completely restore this one. I love this one. It, like this is obviously the one I bought thinking I had full intentions of restoring this one. 
However, I do like this dash better. I like all of that just how it is. Unfortunately, I'm hoping the other one doesn't have something with this drilled out of it. If not, we might have to plastic weld that back together, do something. But I do like this dash better, so I'm probably going to steal almost everything out of this truck. Including this guy right here. I would fire it up, but she is completely out of fuel. I need, really need to actually get some fuel in that tank, get her running, because uh, I gotta check for whatever is either leaking or wrong or whatever, because when we pull this, like I said, it, it's coming out of here and it's going in, uh, it's going into the silver truck. I'm trying to think of something very creative on this side. Um, definitely this is not staying. I'd like to add two. In what position, I don't know. It would be pretty cool to have like a, you know, either side-by-side -side twin kit, I could do another set of compounds. I could do a big single. You know, there, there, there's so many options over here. I wanted to do three, but three at that point is literally just for show. I'm not going to race this thing. I'm not going to pull with this thing. I'm not going to do anything crazy with this thing. Um, this is literally going to be a, this is literally going to be a brand new, like fresh off the line Ram 250 when I'm done with it. So obviously we're going to come in here, redo everything. If it looks old and dirty, obviously we're going to upgrade this new whatever we can like i said fuel lines i want brand new stainless ones uh do want a new exhaust manifold whether it's the same one or like an upgraded one um i do want to get a new like performance head we're gonna head study we're gonna ceramic coat both the head and this and do whatever we can under here to make this thing look like 100 too like this whole motor is just gonna look stunning this in itself is gonna be a, you know a work of art let alone the rest of well that guy but this guy a lot of parts off this guy including all of this because i love this front end some people hate this front end this is my you know one of my favorite um of the first gens and um yeah i'm stealing this whole front end off of it it's motor it's whole interior pretty much and um we're definitely going to keep the bench in that one though this thing is just going to be crazy crazy here soon and like i said i can't wait i can't wait to see how creative we can get here and uh, intercooler wise and what just build this 12 valve as well. Like I said, if I, if I can upgrade the transmission I got, which I don't think I can that crazy, um, I'll just keep this auto and slap this whole setup right in there and then you know figure out how to attach a transfer case to it. But oh, you, I, I'm just, my, my wheels are turning as I'm talking to you guys and like I can't wait. Um, like I said, even we're gonna get new ones of these. We're gonna get a new wiring harness. If we have to rewire it ourselves, we will. I want it all clean, all OEM and all factory. Um, literally new washer fluid tank. If I can get one, you know, made in some stainless or aluminum, I'm, I'm here for it. I want this engine bay to be as pretty as, you know, the exterior of, you know, what is now the silver truck, but will be this truck. What you guys get my point. And then back over here in the weeds as well, we've got uh, my dually rear end. Like I said, plan was that you know i can keep it oem and you know if i find everything that matches up we'll just use this i'll convert this from drum to disc brakes as well um that's no issue and you know and, we, and we'll like knock that out and we'll just use what we got here we'll rebuild this axle i want to blast this powder coat it all new seals all new everything um literally i want this truck to pretty much feel like it just came off the assembly assembly line i don't think you guys believe me but that's the plan and here is my favorite piece to the puzzle. Now this bed is not perfect. I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, obviously all the clear coats peeling, all that stuff. Fenders are faded. This one needs some fiberglass repair in there that we'll have to take care of. Tailgate right now is stuck shut. Um, there's dents here and wherever. We're going to have to uh, do what we can to actually fix what we can on this. The problem is you're not finding... Um, you don't find beds every day. Um, what's funny, as I've got three of them, to have one that's actually from a dually, I, I, I am, I, I can't believe I actually found one. So this is going to take a lot of work, but it's going to, it's going to pull this whole build together. This bed, that dually rear end. I'm just speechless right now because this is not. I don't, I don't want to say this is my dream truck because like that was my dream truck back then. But it's just something I've always wanted, and um, I really want to you know keep and have literally forever i want to build it and i never want to let it go because this thing like i said there's something about these especially with a 12 valve under the hood they're, they're just timeless man so that's you know that's my plan and it's crazy because usually i have i have this perfect vision and this one's tough probably because like i said it, it, i'm gonna put a lot of time and effort into doing all this pulling the motor building a motor building a tranny uh you know building an entire truck and piece of art really um 
then obviously I want to do it once. I don't. I want to build something that I physically never want to change um, and do it right. So that's why I said it takes a lot of time to think and plan. But the other day I was like, I'm waiting for parts for our 7.3. Um, we're going to be starting these things and we're going to be starting a couple other things because I said projects like this are going to be as they come, as we can get stuff in and find pieces and parts. Um, so we're going to be starting a lot of things and be turning a lot of stuff over. So we're going to be jumping back and forth from build to build to build to build to build. But um, you're going to see a lot come together quickly here, which is going to be sweet. So, all right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you're excited for these first gen builds, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.